We are continuing coverage tonight over the controversy in Middleton over a weekly event known as Jesus Lunch. Competing petitions are now circulating about the event. And tonight, News 3's Jessica Arp talks to one of the mothers who says they never intended for the event to create controversy. The beautiful day in Fireman's Park belies the controversy that's been brewing about a weekly lunch held in the park pavilion. So it's a really controversial topic right now. There's a lot of discussion that I hear in the halls. It's probably, I'd say, 50-50 between the student body. Middleton student Peter Opitz has spearheaded an online petition to stop an event called Jesus Lunch, a weekly free meal prepared by local moms that's accompanied by Bible study. Personally, I think the Constitution clearly outlines a separation of church and state, and that's clearly not being followed here. I would say that there's two sides to every story, and yes, that is an angle. For just for as many kids that are complaining about it, there are hundreds of kids that are in support of it. Melissa Helbach is one of the five moms who started Jesus Lunch. She points out there's a counter petition asking the lunch to stay. There are hundreds of kids who have come up to us and have said, we are so thankful that you are providing this. We have a spot one day a week where we can come and have truth spoken to us, where we can come and feel loved and accepted. She continues to say her group has a rental agreement for the park shelter, despite the district claiming they can enforce school rules on the property because of a lease with the city of Middleton. The city administrator says they'd like to honor both. As is the case in many legal agreements, you can read both of those things into the same document. And uh, so I see both perspectives. One option the school district in the city have proposed is moving the lunches to nearby Parisi Park. It's just a few minute walk from the school. But the issue may be that the park facilities, as you can see, are not nearly as large to hold enough students as the group says they draw. I have not heard that from the administration. The administration has asked me and then the five moms to shut this operation down. Helbach won't say whether they would move the lunches off site. The city says they may soon have a meeting with the school board to consider, quote, tightening up the lease. In the meantime, students will continue to share their opinions in school and online. In Middleton, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3.